So uh, this video is a continuation of the videos around in the concept of invertible matrix. So in the previous video, we introduced the concept of inverse of a matrix. So um, uh, a matrix is the inverse of another one if A times inverse is equal to inverse times A and that is equal to the identity. Okay, now we are going to see one uh, a small example where you can see that A is a matrix 2, 5, 1, 3 and we are going to check if B is the inverse of A. So what do we have to do? We have to do, we have to perform A times B, right? So if you perform A times B, it's obvious you are going to get 1, 0, 0, 1, right? So you are getting the identity, right? Now, if you perform, um, so you perform here A times B, do the other way around, perform B times A, and you are going to get 1, 0, 0, 1, so that's the identity, right? So this proves that B is the inverse of A, right? So we can change the notation here, okay, and I can write A inverse, and here A times A inverse, and a inverse time a times a so you just perform the calculations and you will always get the identity okay let us pick another example here we have matrix a a three by three a square matrix with entries one zero two two minus one three four one eight and this one is the inverse of A. That's minus 11, 2, 2, minus 4, 0, 1, 6, minus 1, minus 1. So you just perform A times B. Where here, we are not calling this B anymore. We will be calling this the inverse. So if you do A times the inverse, you will be getting the matrix 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 1. So that's the identity. Okay, and you will get the same result if you perform the left multiplication, the inverse times A. So A times inverse and inverse times A, you get the same matrix, the, the identity matrix.